All right, another quick instructable video here for the Nixie clock. Um, this is the running two tubes with time with the uh, breakout chip for the time. Once again, we've got our power supply. It's coming around to our step up chip, which I've got in line now with this um, with this PCB. So you've got your DS1307 here, and as you can see, it's got the one pin hanging off. Then you've got your logic high lows, or uh, not high lows, I'm sorry, ground and 5 volt. And then you've got your actual analog pins coming up into this PCB. And so you've got two clocks running there. It just hits 60. Now it's going to, okay, so right here you see how it looks like it's not running properly. It's running just the same digits over and over again. I've actually just happened to hit uh, 11, 10 a.m. and so, you to keep your tubes from getting uh, anode or cathode poisoning you have to at some point in time just run through all your digits especially for like the hours where you've got you know a zero or a one or a two and it never touches digits three to nine you want to make sure to light those digits up every once in a while and you can do a little cool display or something with it but um, and you see it's running again now so you know you can build your own PCB I actually built this one and send it off to a manufacturer to get it created and then I actually you know uh, saw it all together I did that with a company called OSH Park and uh, e I use a program called Eagle but you can just straight solder it all together with wires and stuff I just wanted a nice good looking um, board so you can see where I've got my ground and uh, 175 volts coming in you can see I've marked it high voltage uh, got a resistance there uh, and that comes in and hits the tubes and you've got both you know your shift register down here and then your two uh, 74141s and then I've got three you know one microfarad capacitors so that they can um, to have smooth logic and on this you can actually see where I've got two or one pin on each tube not soldered that's just because when I bought these tubes, it didn't come with a pin, and it was only just a decimal point, so I didn't really, wasn't too worried about it, but there's my final chip, and then of course, as you can see, you've got the logic wires coming in. Um, if you want to know how to, if you don't want to order this board, or you know, you want to build your own, then um, the schematic should be on the instructable page, but this is what it should look like whenever you actually get to the second, uh, the second, so, for example, the way the easiest way to do this, and the way that I try to show in the instructable is, so there's seconds. You just grab these three pins right here, pull them up and out, and just move them over one space each, just like that. So I've literally gone from uh, two, three, and four to then five, six, and seven, so the next three, and now I'm on. I believe this is either minutes or hours, but it's one of the two. And then you just move those three again further down to get the next one. And so you have three sets of three. One's going seconds, one's going minutes, and one's going hours. And that's all there is to it. I'm going to put it back on seconds here.